everyone, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Long time, no post. My life got a little crazy over the summer as I'm sure most people's did. But today I am here because we have a new ColourPop collection to review and I am so, so excited about today's video. Today we're reviewing the Raw Beauty Christy X ColourPop collaboration. I'm trying to like hold everything up and it's not really working. A huge congratulations to Christy. I am so, so happy for her. She's just having a phenomenal year, two collaborations, and a baby, like, anyway. I am so happy for her, and I am so excited to be able to support her in this way. Today I'm both going to be doing a first impressions look using the products, as well as telling you kind of my thoughts on them, just initially using them. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So let's quickly just talk about the products that are in the collection. I did pick up the entire collection because I love Christy and I love ColourPop, so it was a match made in heaven. Uh, so first off, there are three cream gel eyeliners. I actually really like the ColourPop cream gel liner formula. Um, these retail for, I believe, $7 each. There are also two Lux glosses, which retail for $9 each. Not my favorite formula, but also not a horrible formula. They're still really good. I mentioned the Lux glosses back in my ColourPop She's Got Solstice review. They aren't my favorite formula. They're very thick, um, but they don't dry your lips out like a lot of glosses. So I like that. They're just not my preferred ones, but I'm excited about these. I'm a huge gloss girl right now. We also have four Super Shock shadows. These retail for, I believe, $7 as well. I love the shades. There's a couple really pretty, like, champagne shades. And then this one I'm super excited about. It's, what, what shade is it? Like a Moss. It's like a green metallic. Super excited about those. And then, of course, we have the At Forest Sight eyeshadow palette. I am so beyond excited to try this. This is just stunning. Like, I'm not even going to wait. I'm going to open this up right here. But look at this beautiful, beautiful color story. Very fall, grungy. I am super, super excited about this palette. So let's go ahead um, and I guess pick out the products we want to use. So like I said, there's the eyeshadow palette, which we are for sure going to be using. There are four Super Shock shadows. I think the one I'm drawn to most is this one. It's called Like a Moss. Let me open it up for you. It's like a pretty kind of gold reflecty green. So I think this is the one I want to use. I'm really drawn to the greens in this collection. I These are the two more neutral Super Shocks. So this one's more of a champagne color. It's called Olympic. And this one is mycelium which is more of a neutral brown a little bit of a warm neutral brown the last super shock shadow is this really gorgeous bronze color called campfire so i think the one i want to use out of all four of them though is like a moss that green one so i'm going to set that one aside to use in our look i did prime my eyelids today using my mac studio fix concealer i believe in the shade nw10 i will leave that in the description box if you are interested for now i think the first shade i want to tap into is this yellow shade right here chanterelle i think this is a gorgeous gorgeous color i have my mirror below the camera that's why i keep looking down there i keep like looking at myself I'm going to just buff this into the crease. I'm using, I um, don't know the number, but this is an It Cosmetics just fluffy blending brush. One of my favorites. So these are pretty pigmented, so I'm kind of tapping and then swirling after tapping the product off. I feel like that's going to give me the best color payoff. I really, really like this color. This is one of my favorite color eyeshadows to use on my skin. I think it's just such a pretty color. There's a shade very similar to this one in the Milk Cosmetics Rust Palette. That shade is the one that it's reminding me of. Really, really pretty. I think it's gorgeous. I'm going to just quick take a fluffy blending brush. Uh, this is the Morphe M513. And I'm just going to take that no product just to buff out the edges, make sure it is very diffused and transitions well into my brow bone. Next I'm taking my Morphe M456 and I'm going to be dipping into Fiddlehead, which is this really pretty army green type shade. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of that. 
I'm not really sure the type of look I want to go for. So I guess I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. I saw a lot of people doing really pretty halo eyes with this palette. So maybe I'll do something like that. I like this color a lot. It's really pretty. I feel like it blends into the yellow really well. I don't feel like I have to try to blend it. I'm going to go ahead and be very, very light-handed with it still, though. Going in with some circular motions, very, very light, minimal product, slowly building that up. It is very pigmented, so you don't need to build it up. I mean, you can just go straight in, but this is just my personal style. I don't want to go too heavy-handed in there. So I always go in very light and just work it up to the opacity that I prefer. So I think I'm going to go for more of like a grungy, smoky eye. I feel like I always go for smoky eyes. It's just kind of my signature. <laughs> I love a good smoky eye. So I think that's kind of the route I'm going to try and go. I feel like it blends so easy. Like... I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see my mirror very good, but it looks kind of like it's blended. I think it looks okay. Moving on with that same brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip into the green right next door. This is Emerald City. This color just, oh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> Do you see that? Oh my gosh. I am shook. People even say that still. I still say that. I'm just buffing this shade where I put Fiddlehead, that army green shade, just to give it more of a greeny blue pop. I think this color complements the yellow Chanterelle very, very well. I am obsessed. I think I'm also going to take Emerald City and very lightly kind of sweep it over my lid as a base because I do want to use the Super Shock shadow and I think this will help give it that green color. So just really smoking it out across the lid. Doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, I am gonna go over it with the Super Shock. I just wanted to have that nice color so it kind of shifted the undertone a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with Like a Moss. I love using Super Shock shadows. I have quite a few. I just very rarely dip into them. I don't know why because I always like using them. Um, I'm gonna use this brush that came in my ABH palettes. I like using either a finger or a very dense brush like this. Oh my goodness, do you guys see that? That was like, <laughs> that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Because that shade was such a success, I'm actually going to go in with another Super Shock. I want to go in with Olympic. I'm going to use this as like an inner corner highlight and put it a little bit into my lid as well. So let me find another Anastasia brush, another clean one. Tap that right into my inner corner. This one has more of a clear base to it, I feel. Yeah, this one I had to build up just a tad bit. Not awful. I am actually obsessed with this look. Okay, so next I'm going to go back into the palette. Gonna quickly take Emerald City and Fiddlehead, kind of an even mixture of both. I'm just gonna touch up that outer corner, make sure nice and pigmented. So I think for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take this kind of pencil brush. This is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette brush. I'm gonna take uh, Fiddlehead, and I think I'm also gonna go in with Homegrown just to tight line my lower lash line. Actually, maybe I'll go in with, what is this one? Amanita this purple one. I'm going to start with Fiddlehead. It's going to kind of loosely line my lower lash line. Smoke it out a little bit. Just kind of playing with the colors at this point. I think the purple's kind of cute though. The purple's nice. I'm going to go back into that pencil brush I used for Fiddlehead and just kind of blend the two together. I'm going to go ahead and take PNW or Pacific Northwest on the Morphe M456. Is that what this one is? M456. And I'm going to go 
quickly pat that into this green portion, just deepen it up and give it a little bit more of an oomph. Okay, so I think this is the eyeshadow complete. What do we think? You know what? I want to try an eyeliner, so I'm going to pull up the eyeliner shades. The three eyeliner shades, I feel like any one of these could go good with this look. So we have Woodsy, which is brown, Marigold, which is a gold, and then Spare Time, which is this really pretty kind of emerald green color. Um, you know what? I feel like there's a lot of green going on in the lid. I'm almost gravitating more towards the brown or the yellow. Let's go ahead and go with the brown. I did a lot of color on the lid, so we'll go ahead and go in with Woodsy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lower waterline and also just kind of lightly smoke out my top lashes. Instead of using Woodsy on my top lashes, I'm just gonna take a little bit of spare time. I feel like this color just blends better. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and blush and we'll come back together and do lips. So here is the eyeshadow and kind of complexion done. So now we just have to choose lips. Um, let's open up the glosses. So the two gloss shades we have are Glacier, this really pretty kind of champagne glitter gloss, and then also Wildflower, which is this more nude. I feel like most people try out Wildflower, so I'm tempted to try out Glacier. I just don't know if it's going to be too much. You know what? We're going to do it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the Bodyography Barely There Lip Liner and also my MAC Lip Primer. So now we're going to go ahead and go in with the Luxe Gloss in the shade Glacier. Ooh, that is glossy. I just... Did you see that? It, it just has a really pretty vanilla smell. Oh, this color is so pretty. What do we think? <gasps> I really like this look. I think it is really pretty for fall. Let me go ahead and take my clips out. So this is the final look. I actually really enjoy how it turned out. It's beautiful, very fall forest vibes. I totally see the vision. Let's go ahead and jump into my thoughts on the collection as a whole. We'll start off with the palette again. So I think Christy did an amazing job on this palette. I think it's gorgeous. I think the colors really embody the vision that she was going for. I feel like there's a lot of collections out there that people will just slap a theme onto it and it won't really embody that theme, but I feel like you can definitely tell this was very much thought out and handpicked to match and all go together. If you guys didn't see Christie's kind of Q&A or like video on her collection, um, she did actually take pictures of the Seattle area or like the Washington area where she's from and hand selected all of the shades. So all of these shades that you see are actual colors that she took pictures of out in the forest. And so I think really encompasses the just the overall aesthetic. Definitely one of my favorite palettes I've tried this year. I was kind of nervous with the tones. I know once you get into those deeper, grungier colors, especially with pigment, there can be a lot of kickback, there can be a lot of patchiness, but everything blended beautifully. I'm very impressed. I went into it expecting to like it, um, but I didn't expect to enjoy the formula as much as I did. So very, very well done, 10 out of 10 stars. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the Super Shocks. I am a huge Super Shock gal. I really enjoy the Super Shock formula. The two I tried were like Moss and Olympic. I really like these colors. I thought they were very, very well. They suited the look very well. Um, the palette itself has a lot of matte shades. Um, it doesn't have so many shimmers, so I was initially a little worried about that, but I feel like the Super Shocks, because they're all kind of like that metallic -y shimmer texture, uh, they really complement the palette well, and I feel like as long as you have even just one Super Shock in the palette, you're not really lacking. I feel like they go with the palette very well and are very complementary without being too repetitive in terms of tones and shades. So again, I would rate these 10 out of 10 stars. I only tried two of the shades, but I'm excited to try the other two as well, and I will most likely be doing a TikTok or an Instagram TV with these. Eyeliners! Again, nothing bad to say. I really enjoyed these products. These are actually some of my favorite eyeliners in general. I already own a couple shades from ColourPop. 
I think these three shades are again very very unique. I think just in general the collection shades are very unique uh, and they complement the collection very well. You have something for everyone. You have the brown if you're a neutral person, you have the yellow if you're kind of in the middle, and then you have the green if you're really into color. So I feel like it has a little bit of something for everyone and I think this was done really really well. I am very happy with these shades. And last but not least we have the two Luxe glosses. I have tried the Lux Gloss formula in the past. I've tried the ones that came with the She's Got Solstice collection. I've also tried um, a couple from the Moody Blooms collection. And for whatever reason, I just feel like these are a lot lighter and a lot creamier. I don't think they changed the formula. I think I'm just seeing it with new eyes and it could be because I liked everything else in the collection. But I also really enjoyed the glosses. I think this white one that I have on my lips today is really, really pretty. Uh, this pink one is more of an everyday kind of gloss, so I'm excited to play around with these some more. And once again, I would rate those a 10 out of 10 stars. I am just so excited about this collection, so blown away. I feel like, just as a whole, the collection was very thought out, very meaningful, and it really kind of portrays when someone comes out with a collection, you know that they put the thought into it, and you really see that and get that vibe with this collection. So I am extremely, extremely happy to have this collection. Of course, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money, my own hard-earned money. But I'm super happy and pleased and impressed, and I cannot say enough good things about this. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed. Also, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on new ColourPop collections like this one and any other tutorials. If you want to see any more looks using the App Forest site eyeshadow palette, then definitely be sure to comment down below what you want to see. Also, go follow me over on TikTok. I will leave it right up here in the corner for you. I will be doing some more tutorials if you're on that platform as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!